what's the name of your band? Sons of Bill. There's there's three brothers in the band, and our dad's Bill. He was sort of inspiration. Well, days they run like ink on pages, stained with coffee, blurred with tears. And sort of formed on basically playing songs that he had taught us as kids. Some song about a lover leaving, broken heart, a troubadour that's run away. He grew up sort of in the uh, 60s, like Cambridge folk scene. So, you know, during that big whole folk explosion with like Dylan and, you know, Tom Rush and Joan Baez, he was in. Uh, he really got into, you know, the Towns Van Zandt kind of style finger picking, and we grew up just kind of less with records in the house, but more of him playing the songs. That's how we got to know them was by his versions of the songs. So you go back home just to find. We learned all these like Merle Haggard songs and you know, Chris Christopherson and Towns Van Zandt, but we didn't even know that they wrote them. We just knew Dad's version, and Dolly Parton, you know. Wow, that's pretty kick-ass. And that was the, you know, that's the original idea of folk anyway, is that you, you learn them from someone else that knows them and it gets passed down. That's the, kind of the old, that's the way it's supposed to be. Exactly, exactly. No, you hit, you hit it. Down on this bus, my back is tired And my head is hanging low Sick of all this talk from men. I was living in New York at the time. My brothers started visiting me, and we're just like, you know, we should play that old Hank Williams song or play this. So we started playing all these songs, and it's like, this is really fun. Eight years later, James and Todd live in Nashville, and the rest of us live in the Central Virginia area, Charlottesville. You know, everybody asks you how that works, you know, but it actually works better because, you know, when you all live in the same town, it's like somebody's got to have. A date with their girlfriend or you know someone's got to have a dinner party with the family but whereas when you're here it's like you're here to work we used to rehearse um we would do no vocal rehearsals too sometimes so we'd just think about the music we also figured out that it was better to rehearse not facing each other because i was like we don't face each other on stage so everybody just that's what he just said is that what week. you said it, when you're rehearsing oh, yeah. to not face each other yeah, keep, keep in touch with us. Just we'll hang.